uh, welcome everybody. Take uh, thanks for taking the time out of your day uh, to attend this presentation. I've got about 25 or so minutes of content that I'd like to go through. Um, we're going to start with uh, just a brief agenda. I'll do a quick little intro and background to um, myself, how I became involved with this particular endeavor. Uh, we'll go through the consulting services, touching on not only the different products that we represent, but also the services for each of those products that we uh, can now offer to our clients and customers. I'll uh, do a brief little summary at the end, and then we will have some time for Q&A uh, if there are any additional questions that you might have or something I didn't quite clarify. Uh, please put that, as we mentioned uh, earlier, in either the Q&A or the chat, um, and uh, we'll try to answer those as quickly as we can. All right, so a little background uh, about myself. Um, was was really fortunate to get into a, a CAD environment, computer-aided drafting design, uh, in the mid-90s. Uh, started with AutoCAD, which was a, a very prevalent software. Uh, it still is used, I guess, quite a bit today. Um, mainly 2D. Um, I did attempt one, one 3D project in, in AutoCAD, and uh, boy, howdy, that was fun. Uh, we, we also used mechanical desktop for about three years in the, the late 90s. Uh, machine design was really a lot of, uh, of my focus, so... Um, had about uh, six or seven years with machine design using those two products. And then uh, late 99, early 2000, we we kind of decided as a company that uh, we need to see what else is out there, right? So uh, we did some evaluation. Um, you you, you might have been through some of this in some of your companies that you've been through, but uh, we evaluated um, uh, two or three different softwares and decided SolidWorks seemed to be the, the right product for us. So um, we, we adopted that and uh, stayed with that company for about four years using SolidWorks as the primary uh, design software, and uh, really just fell in love with the software so much that I wanted to get more involved with it. Um, so I uh, uh, took a job with a, what we call a value-added reseller, a VAR. That's what the CATI is is part of, uh, more of a solution provider than, than what we started out as, but uh, allowed me to, again, really utilize the software and, and get uh, kind of behind the scenes of, of how the software is developed and uh, what it can be used for and some of the new features. And I was always anxious to load that first release just to see, uh, you know, what, what was actually going to happen or, or come about from it. Um, achieved a few certifications along the years, but uh, have been in this environment or this role for almost 18 years now. Uh, so I, I've learned a lot and probably forgotten a lot as well. But uh, that's some of my, my background into this industry. Uh, some of the roles that I've had that kind of helped me play into this consulting uh, role was starting off of what we call an application engineer, which which basically meant that I would work with sales from the pre-sales side of uh, maybe demonstrating the software or getting clients, prospects engaged into you know how they might use the software, how they uh, were hoping to use the software. Um, so a lot of uh, presentations and so forth. And then on post-sales, we uh, also not only help with tech support when those occasional calls would come through, but also working with training environment. And I think that, you know, all three of those those different facets of the job really prepare me for um, helping offer these consulting services and, and the different uh, uh, types of solutions that we can provide. Um, moved into a managerial role in, in 2012, um, added the consulting project uh, role into my role on uh, 2018, and then have, um, you know, since become the senior manager that, as Josh mentioned earlier, but still focusing on software solutions, um, not so much on, you know, tech support and things like that, but just more on the software uh, side, the solutions with the software, as well as the consulting services. So I like this image, uh, it kind of shows that I wear many hats, and I think most of us in our organization would, would relate to that image as well. Uh, but uh, it's, it's certainly a, a fun role to have. So let's talk a little bit about the consulting services side. And uh, that's really the, the main focus of this presentation is to engage or, or, or make you aware of some of these new products and services that we can now offer. Um, and, and sometimes the term consulting can be a little bit of a, uh, uh, maybe a common term that not many people like, <laughs> depending on your experience with consulting in the past or other companies. Um, but I, I really like to use the term instead uh, of more of a mentoring service. So. Um, consulting sometimes applies, implies that we're doing all the work for you, um, and that's really not the case. We, we choose to take a more of a mentoring approach and, um, you know, teach, teach you to use the tools better, uh, get the most production that you can out of the tools that you have, or, or maybe show you other tools that could help with that. So one of our, our biggest products that we offer services for is, of course, SolidWorks. That's our core 
uh, part of our business and, and what you know really got us started into this role. Um, we've since you know added more products to our portfolio, but uh, the SolidWorks CAD product is, is the really the start of it. And we offer a, a bunch of different items for that software. Um, the first being an implementation package. Now, when we talk about implementation packages for SolidWorks, we're more or less uh, implying that this is for a new, a, a customer new to SolidWorks, right? So uh, maybe they've come from AutoCAD or Inventor or some other software and they want to get SolidWorks installed and deployed and, and uh, configured correctly, uh, maybe some library set up. Uh, different tasks to you know just ensure that everything is ready to go. Uh, this could also include a system option overview or review, um, hardware review, make sure the correct hardware is in place. Um, just again, really ensuring that the company gets off to the right start uh, with their their uh, uh, usage of SolidWorks. In addition to that, uh, for current customers, we also offer installation or upgrade. Uh, tasks. So sometimes uh, companies, maybe they, they no longer have an IT staff or they outsource an IT staff um, and they're not comfortable or, or have time even to worry about upgrading users and, and uh, you know, updating with service packs or major releases or, or whatever. Um, that is a service that we can also provide. So we will do that uh, with or for you. Um, this could be also including uh, creating admin images if you want to do a multiple deployment, uh, maybe create the image, test it, and the customer can can run with it after that, um, or again, it could just be us doing the installs. And these can all be scheduled. Maybe you want to uh, ensure that every you know December timeframe you you are ready for us to do an upgrade. And it's just ensuring that you know someone from our staff who's done this you know hundreds of times can help with that install and watch out or is aware to to you know look for those potential gotchas that someone that does it once a year once every two years might not be aware of so uh, it's a good resource a good way to utilize your time and uh, get your production up and going quicker additional add-ons uh, for solidworks and these are more um, maybe industry specific to some degree but uh, maybe well met profile creation you, you use a lot of standard profiles that aren't included with solidworks uh, maybe you'd like some additional help getting those uh, built or maybe even a mentoring engagement, we can do that as well. Uh, design table configurations, template design. Uh, SolidWorks templates can be utilized a lot of different ways and a lot of uh, input can speed that along. So uh, we can we can help with that as well. And just a couple other common ones, sheet metal table configurations and also toolbox configuration. Some companies like to use toolbox, but they want some additional uh, maybe custom properties or, or uh, part numbers associated. We can help with that process as well. The image you see in the upper right corner, um, kind of a little checklist or, or a sheet, this is just an example of some of these matrix documents that we do have available for uh, you to see or to go through. Um, the best way to get that is to just reach out to your salesperson, your contact with CETI. Um, if you're unsure who that is, I'll have my email pop up here at the end, and you can certainly uh, send an email to me and I can help get that uh, pushed along as well. But these are all uh, created for uh, not only you know to see a quick snapshot of what's included, but also getting some more detailed information about that. Another product that uh, we do offer a lot of services for is SolidWorks Electrical. Uh, not only the schematic, but also the PCB uh, portion of the software. The reason why we offer services for this software is it's not as simple as just you know loading or, or installing a client and off you go. Um, there is a database, there's a SQL portion to the software that gets installed on a, a server uh, machine. And that information needs to be set up correctly, otherwise uh, you're not gonna have a whole lot of fun using the product. So um, offering these implementation packages to get the software not only set up correctly, but installed, as well as um, some mentoring is included with those implementation packages. Uh, maybe setting up you know some sample templates or or starting with the first project for the schematic software um, or pcb and it's just ensuring that one of our industry experts is going to guide you through that now this is in addition to just normal book training um, the the printed manuals are are nice to you know have material for us to follow or to go through some some preset examples but it doesn't, doesn't encompass every particular work industry, right? It's more of a, a user interface and, and a high level overview of how the software is, is possible, to, you know, a way to use it, but it might not be your specific way. So the implementation packages allow us to get more tailored 
uh, and customize to your particular uh, workflow. Uh, we also do uh, offer the upgrades and a server move. If you need to go to a bigger server, uh, different server or multiple locations, uh, there are some you know, backup routines and things that need to happen for that to, uh, to go smooth, smoothly. So we can offer that as a service. And then just some additional add-on services that um, we found over the years to be beneficial. Um, if you do have PDM Professional, so you have the vault installed, um, electrical can connect to that vault. There's a PDM connector uh, portion of the software that can be uh, installed and set up correctly. And that's another service that we can do, not only getting it installed and deployed correctly, but also a little bit of user training uh, to know, you know which variables and, and so forth we're going to be connecting to. Um, another useful ter uh, topic is the Q&A mentoring sessions. We found that you know, companies get the software, they go through training, they've done a little implementation to get it set up, they've created their first project, and now they have questions. They have you know, workflow ideas or, or uh, suggestions that maybe they're looking for. So a, a Q&A session is, is just that, but it's dedicated and scheduled time. Um, you can certainly call our support line and, and ask general questions that way, but this is meant to be a specific focus of, you know, on the 24th, you get one hour and this is what we're gonna talk about. Um, so it's gonna allow you to get your answer quickly and get through production uh, without a whole lot of delays. All right, moving into the simulation software. So this is a, a package or an area that has gone through a little bit of change this past year um, compared to what we, we offered in the past. With, with simulation, we're referring to the SOLIDWORKS simulation products, uh, linear, nonlinear, um, buckling, uh, thermal, you know, all the different study types that you can do in SOLIDWORKS simulation, as well as simulation flow. Um, we've offered what we would, again, refer to as an implementation or more of a mentoring package. Uh, we don't really need a whole lot of help installing the software, but we do need some help, or, or we can offer help on how to get uh, studies set up correctly. Um, boundary conditions, meshing techniques, things of that nature, things you'll learn in the training class, but something that we could maybe tailor or get a little more specific for your particular study type or your particular model. Um, so oftentimes we'll work with one data set that you've provided and uh, with one of our specialists, we'll go through you know, some of those various uh, setups and, and things to watch out for. Now, what we've added beyond that let me take a quick step back. With the implementation and mentoring, we're also uh, gearing that towards the software that you own. So you're still doing the clicks you know, on your particular install with whatever uh, features that you have access to. We're just guiding you through that. Another option is the, the computer-aided engineering service, which we'll get into more detail. I think later today we've got another presentation on that. Uh, but high level, what this basically refers to is you are allowing us to do the analysis for you. Uh, so this could be a case where you don't own the software, maybe you don't need to own it. Um, it's something you would use once or twice a year and, and can't justify uh, the purchase price. So we can actually offer that service for you. Um, a little bit of engagement with, with your part, uh, making sure that we have the correct boundary conditions and set up and you know, are trying to solve what you want us to solve. Uh, but again, it's a service that we now provide and has really, uh, taken off. It's been a great offering. We've had a lot of good success. Uh, customers realizing that, you know, we have this ability now and uh, are just ecstatic that, you know, we can help them out. Um, it, it goes back to that partner uh, term that we like to use where we, we want to help, you know, your business grow as, as, as quickly as possible. So that works for the FEA and then the CFD analysis side. Um, for SOLIDWORKS Plastics, we, we don't currently offer this as a service where we would run the, the analysis for you, but we do still offer the mentoring, uh, allowing you to use your software with our guidance. Um, and then also all three of these solutions will give uh, a best practice review. So we, we've got, uh, again, industry experts that have been working in, in simulation and, and other analysis products for many, many years, and they've compiled a list of best practices or suggested workflows that uh, are part of all of these implementation packages. So uh, you will get that information with that service as well. And again, just to remind you, if you do have questions, uh, you can certainly ask those at any time. I know I have a, a section you know, at the end of the presentation, but uh, if something catches your eye, you can certainly add it to the Q&A, and then we'll be sure to address that as we get further into it. 
Another product that uh, we offer services for are SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. So a few years ago, SOLIDWORKS uh, added to all releases of their product, standard, professional, and premium, the SOLIDWORKS CAM uh, tool add-in. And this allows you to access uh, SOLIDWORKS CAM standard or two and a half axis milling, um, which I think the only uh, requirement is you had to be on subscription service to keep getting access to the tool, but it was included with, with all software. So um, it really has spurred a, a lot of growth and interest into the CAM world, uh, so much so that we've uh, developed our staff or added staff to really take that on. So not only can we also help with the implementation packages of getting the, the CAM software installed and set up correctly, but also taking it further into um, helping mentor or go through a particular CAM build, uh, maybe a job you're trying to get through. This could be something that could be part of a mentoring engagement, um, making sure the tech database is set up and the tool library and, and all that, that good information. Again, training covers most of that, but this would be specific uh, services to your particular parts or products. And then beyond that, um, anytime we, we work with the CAM solution, you're needing or are going to need access to a, a post that's going to allow the software to communicate with your machine. Um, so involved in this, we also offer services for custom post writing, and that's basically allowing us to generate a, um, a tool path converter that talks to your machine and the controller that you have on that machine. So uh, again, a lot of industry knowledge working with these CAM posts. Uh, we can uh, generate one based on different uh, axes requirements and so forth, uh, but uh, that's another service that uh, we do offer as well. Another product, uh, just a couple more here, SolidWorks Visualize. So this was uh, SolidWorks' uh, third offer for rendering software. And I would obviously say the best. Um, this is amazing what this software can do. Um, so we do have training for Visualize, again, out of the book, uh, very basic training. But we decided to also offer mentoring, something that might go specific to your particular task or your need. Um, and uh, we've offered a, a number or have completed a number of those jobs. But we've also found that uh, not only is it nice to you know, share or, or teach you how to use the software correctly, uh, we can also offer this as a rendering service. So we can now employ or get your models, uh, go through an environment setup, uh, making sure that the, you know, the rendering scene is, is the way that you want it to be, uh, discussion with file types and exports and Im uh, image qualities and so forth. And then basically it's just a fee to you know, run the actual rendering runtime. So uh, this could be one where you either don't have the software or you do, but you don't have enough time to get things done. We can be at a bit of an extension uh, to help with those rendering solutions as well. Uh, so the image in the bottom right corner is just one image or one example of what we can we can create, uh, but uh, it's it's really amazing software. And then if, to round out the software services side, uh, we do have a couple of, of options here for SolidWorks Composer. Uh, the Composer product, again, has a training course um, really just a, an essentials or something to get you started, covers a lot of the different components of Composer. But we've found that uh, not only, you know, customers going through that essential training, they, they still need some additional help. Um, so we do offer mentoring to take it a step further, maybe your first project you wanna create, um, go through uh, maybe a little bit of automation or some features that maybe we didn't touch on in the initial training course. Um, we don't know those ahead of time, so each one's a little different, but uh, a good discussion can help us uncover uh, what it is that you're trying to do. Um, that also leads into SolidWorks Inspection. Um, where there is a, an initial training course offering, again, with that product, but this is going to take it beyond that and doing some additional configuration setup, maybe some additional templates. Um, the, the template choices that you get with the software are, are good, but um, it seems like everyone wants to customize it or do something a little bit different. So um, going through a, uh, an opportunity to set that up or, or to guide you on how to set that up is something we could offer as well. And then finally, SolidWorks MBD. Uh, MBD, or model-based definition, is a, a, a new piece, newer piece of software that's been out for a number of years now, but it, it's more of a paradigm shift from companies that were used to just doing traditional 2D drawings now you, using you know, the 3D model to assign those annotations and that PMI data too. Um, there is an initial course offering from SolidWorks, a ma manual that we can teach from, but this is meant to go, again, a little bit beyond that, uh, helping with some additional template setup, uh, as well as 
offering ways to implement that in your organization. Uh, it's it's more of a, like I said, a larger setup than just the, the engineering staff, uh, so we can help uh, guide through that, that portion as well. So what do we talk about when we refer to the mentoring services? Um, again, I like to use mentoring versus consulting. I think it's a little more uh, of an industry accepted term where we are giving the, the guidance. We're um, meant to keep small engagements, one-on-one, -on -one, one -on two, uh, not really meant for a large group of people, but focusing on maybe your expert or your person at your company who's gonna take on that particular task, we can get into the, the real fine details of what they're looking to gain. Um, it can be with your own specific models or even your own situations that something beyond just a normal training class would offer. Speaking of training classes, we do also have the ability to create what we call customer content training. So this is where a company would come to us and say, uh, you know, we've, we've brought in uh, a bunch of individuals that have maybe various CAD experience. Uh, we would like for them to model things our way for, for SOLIDWORKS. We found this is the best way to do it through, you know, years of experience or what have you. Um, and we, we want help creating that. And maybe it could be, um, a sample model uh, from something that they design, maybe certain steps, workflows they would like to incorporate. Uh, we can document that and then present that back as a, a training course, but something specific to that company. Um, and some customers have actually kept that information and built their own onboarding documentation. So when you bring in a new hire uh, or have to replace someone, maybe they retire and you're bringing in someone else to take their spot, you now have the ability to use this as an onboarding document to get that new person up to speed a little quicker with your way of designing things. There's nothing worse than having eight individuals doing eight, you know, things eight different ways and, and uh, trying to figure out who modeled this and how to make changes. And if we can get everyone to be somewhat similar, um, that obviously makes the modification process much, much quicker. Another tool that uh, was recently added um, for, really guess, you know, customer asking, uh, asking us for this is what we call CTI investigate. And uh, if I had a dollar for every time someone said, what's the best practice, I'd probably be retired at this point. But the, the term best practice is so vague in that it works for, it works for different, different companies different ways, right? Something that might be a best practice for me might not be a best practice for you. Um, so we have a way where we can gather that information, uh, looking at your models, sample files, whatever you want to, uh, to allow us to see and really understand how that model was made. Uh, we have questionnaires to answer and help address, you know, where we need to go for this design or this investigative process. We, we take a look at the model. We look for any errors or improper ways of using the software, and we can generate these best practice ideas or suggestions. Maybe that's a training opportunity. Um, you know, look, this, this, this group seems to be struggling with this. We have a course that can, you know, help you get up to speed with that. Uh, nothing worse than uh, trying to, you know, make, make SOLIDWORKS run like AutoCAD, right? It's not meant to do that. We want to use it the right way, the correct way, and this is one way to help us do that. And then that all wraps up around a final delivery to the client itself. Now, another way to do that with maybe not so much detail involved is, is what we call a health check. And this is a uh, similar to the investigate, but just on a smaller scale, where we can still do a system option or review of the modeling uh, environment. Uh, again, maybe looking at hardware, system options, connectivity. Um, hey, my machine's running slow. Can you help me you know, figure out why this machine is going so slow? Um, and, and that's part of our health check analysis to do that. Uh, but it could also include a modeling review where we would look at the model and give you some ideas. We're not going to be as detailed as investigate with, you know, a document and, and so forth, but just more of a, you know, pointing to a direction. You would then kind of use that as a self-help guide to go, you know, find more information about that or, or learn more. But it, it is still having an expert look at your file or look at your modeling process, um, which a lot of companies want that. Just, you know, tell us what we're doing wrong and we'll, we'll, we'll go from there, right? So it's it's more of a, of a simplified version, but still getting good information. 